Hobby Kids TV. Hey Hobby Kids, today we have the Eagle Talon Castle. And this castle has more than meets the eye. Yep, like a transformer. Neat! This Eagle Talon Castle can extend up to three feet. For ages three through eight. Comes with action tech. Let's take a look at the back of the box. This castle transforms into an iron eagle and has many different ways to set up. You could break into this castle and have a guard bridge and there's a treasure chest. Batteries included! Thanks Imaginex. Ooh, and the eagle head also fires some cool discs. We're gonna check out how the ogre interacts with Action Tech. Before we get into all the fine details of this cool castle, let's take a look at the minifigs! It comes with this really cool looking knight and these two standard knights. Oh, did you hear that? He called us standard. Well, I mean, look at him. He's all silver. I told you we should have went all silver. But, uh, Blue is in style. It's not anymore. Ugh. All silver looks pretty cool. And you gotta like those black flames too. Yeah, they look really nice. What have we got again? Just like a lizard bird or something? Ugh. We need to get armor shopping in fast. So like I was saying, Everyone's armor's pretty much the same. There's no standard guys. They're just different colors. These two guys have the same color scheme, but that one has a red mustache and goatee. This one has a black goatee and hair. So they all have different faces, but they're pretty much the same figure. All of them move the same way and their hands rotate. But this one does have pretty cool black trim. I told you we needed to go with the black trim. Well, how do you think I feel? I don't even have any facial hair. Guys, really, can you stop arguing? Sorry. This knight also comes with a really cool shield. And he has a shield, a really neat sword, and a sword, and this awesome extra piece of armor. He goes from regular knight to incredible knight within seconds. Oh no, he also has an extra set of armor. That's it. I give up. Are you coming? Oh, I'm sorry, you just look so amazing. Get over here. Hey, I want to see. Hey guys, come back. You guys get awesome armor too. <gasps> All right, the guy with the mustache, you seem like an ax guy. How did you know? Just had a feeling. Seems more lumberjacky. There's your ax. It even comes with a mace on the other end. And a shield. Has a nice cutout so you can see around it. And let's make you the sword knight. I feel like a proper knight now. It also comes with eight firing discs, a cannon with two projectiles, four flags, two catapults, and a treasure chest. And two ladders for those hard to reach places. So you can pull out the two side towers, the one on the left and one on the right, to extend out. That makes the total length of this awesome castle three feet. Then you could push the walls back to give your castle some side walls to make it feel like more of a castle instead of just a wall. Let's put the awesome knight on top of the power disc. The castle turns into an iron eagle, making mechanical sounds, lighting up the torches, and having the commander scream an attack cry. Let's launch the other protective countermeasures with this power disc. There's a power disc on top of this tower, too. 
The eagle's head is awesome because you can load firing discs in here. When you push the button on this side, it's a spring-loaded trigger that shoots the discs. Fire five! And what is a castle if it doesn't have a cool drawbridge? Protect the bridge! When the castle transforms, eagle claws come to keep the door shut. Let's take a look at the back of the castle. This gives us the opportunity to use these awesome stickers that come in the box. This sticker shows the battle plans drawn out in case they run into an ogre. It also has this really cool sculpture of an ogre battling a dragon. Open this up, and behind here is the Iron Eagle's head. Down in the right is a prison cell. I assume this is just for demonstrational purposes. Sure. And if you want to break out, the wall on the side has an easy open access hatch. Well, I'm not really a rule breaker, so I think I'll just stay in the cell. Suit yourself. Let's expand the walls and see what else this castle has. There's a secret compartment to put a treasure chest. There's even a secret place in the wall where someone can break in. We could store the cannon's projectiles. There's cutouts on the tower walls where you could put the ladders. Each tower on the second floor has a door to a terrace. See what happens when we bring the ogre around. It looks like the giant's belly button puts a little indicator light that communicates with the light on top of the castle, making the ogre and the castle interact with lights and sounds. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for some more awesome Imaginex action!